All right, it's time for some New Jersey food science. Or I guess, food history. I'm gonna explain the Taylor ham pork roll thing. First of all, if you've never had Taylor ham, which is what I call it, and I'm just gonna keep saying it over the course of the video, is actually a sausage. You take smoked pork, you grind it up, you put it together with preservatives and spices and salt, then you let it age in a sack, and that's how you get Taylor ham. So why do people in North Jersey call it Taylor ham when, in fact, it is a sausage? Well, that's because of its inventor, John Taylor. John Taylor from Trenton, who is from Central Jersey, so neither North or South can claim him. I'm just kidding, Central Jersey doesn't exist. He created his product in 1856, and he marketed it as John Taylor's Prepared Ham until 1906. This was shortened to the colloquial Taylor Ham. And it was supposed to take the place of normal ham. Normal ham was a solid log of prepared pork, like normal ham we have today. Pork roll was a cheaper alternative to normal ham, which was supposed to replace it for people who were on a budget. The spices and aging were supposed to make it taste more like ham, although actually it ended up tasting a little bit more like bacon. It was also worth noting that Taylor ham basically kept way longer than normal ham. Because it was aged and smoked and preserved, you could buy a ton of it and have it on hand, and it would last for months. The problem, as I said before, is that it's not actually ham. And food regulations in 1906 forced the Taylor Company to stop marketing it as ham and start marketing it as a sausage, or in this case, a pork roll. It basically didn't meet the regulations set forth by the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906, but there was a marketing issue. Taylor Ham had become a household name, and pork roll wasn't really known by anybody. So the Taylor Company changed their product to Taylor's Pork Roll, but a whole bunch of other people started making their own versions of pork roll. And when it was a ham, Taylor basically had full rights over that way to produce ham. But this new product, Pork Roll, could be made in any style by any person. Taylor attempted to sue these other companies that were making pork roll, but it was determined that pork roll was too generic to have a trademark. And as a result, many other companies ended up getting into the pork roll business. Two of the most notable competitors came from Brooklyn and South Jersey, which meant that Taylor focused on shipping Taylor's pork roll to the North Jersey region. Meanwhile, the Case Pork Food Company ended up shipping their pork roll down to South Jersey. Case simply labeled their product pork roll, while Taylor still had big words, Taylor's pork roll, on all of their products. So North Jersey continued using the original name, Taylor Ham, which is a brand and not the product. Meanwhile, South Jersey and areas of New York started calling it pork roll, which was the official name of the product. And that's why we have the war between Taylor Ham and pork roll that we see today.